Hello and welcome to the Art and Life Museum of Nathan Larson. Today we'll be checking in with no other than Nathan Larson himself. As we venture through all of the galleries and displays, we'll be able to get a good look at Nathan's friends and family, hobbies and interests, plans for the future, and even some never before seen artworks crafted and curated by Nathan himself. As we venture off into the first gallery, we are greeted with Nathan's sister, Emily, Lar Emily Larson. Emily is 19 years old. She is currently enrolled at Northwest Missouri State University. Uh, Nathan frequently makes the drive down there to visit her as she is described by Nathan to be his best friend. And then in the next gallery, we'll get a good look at Nathan's mom, Renee. Renee is described by Nathan to be one of the most important people in his life. And then as we venture off into the next display, we're greeted with a piece from Nathan's favorite street artist, Abyss. Nathan gets a lot of his inspiration from this artist while still maintaining his own personal art style. Not only does Nathan appreciate street art, he also enjoys the art of music with one of his favorite bands being Pink Floyd. Nathan is for sure a fan of the oldies as he also enjoys listening to Billy Joel, Metallica, and other classic rock artists. Nathan has plenty of time to listen to his favorite music as he and his family are huge travelers, with one of his favorite spots being the Bahamas. Nathan has also visited places such as Florida, Utah, or Mexico, Utah, and Florida. Nathan doesn't plan on sticking around Iowa after graduation, which is clearly conveyed through his interest in traveling the world. Nathan plans on pursuing college after high school. He may go to Hastings College in Nebraska, where he currently has an art scholarship, or he may join his sister at Northwest Missouri State University, where he would most likely major in graphic design or another art-related field. But who cares about college when there's a world to be explored? Nathan plans on visiting places such as the crystal blue waters of Greece, the intimidating yet inviting world of Australia, and the breathtaking views of Indonesia. Now before we head into the final gallery, let's take a recap of what we have viewed so far. We have gotten an inside look at Nathan's friends and family, hobbies and interests, and his plans for the future. Now let's take a moment to check out some of Nathan's finest works. Nathan plans on using his creative art skills in his future, whether it be digital or on put up in a museum for all the world to see. Thank you for coming to the Art and Life Museum of Nathan Larson and have a good day. Thank you.